I'm stressed out. I'm very stressed out, people. I'm really stressed out. Ever since the beginning of this week on Sunday, when I try to start my car to go to work, the piece of shit doesn't want to start. So I have my brother come and try to get it started. He tries to jump it. He tries to undo the negative wire to my battery, fuses, We everything we've done. We try to put more gas in. Everything does not start. Turn it over, but it's not starting. So here we are. What is it? Thursday now? Still no car. I've been to two shops now and I keep getting told the same thing. My, um, time and chain and valves, I guess, have basically just, they're gone. They're broken down. I need a new engine in my car. I'm spending $50 a day on a fucking rental right now, people. A rental. And I've gotten no further in these last five days than I was five days ago. I am so goddamn stressed out right now. And then I go to try to file my taxes. And apparently I made too much last year. And so now I have to friggin' pay in on that. And I literally want to lose my mind. I am literally sitting here trying not to cry because I have to go to work. And I'm trying to put my makeup on. And I can't do that if I'm fucking crying. I'm going, I'm putting this on. The sand and sky. This stuff's really good. I don't know if anyone uses it. It's good. Sorry, my eyes are already done. I've been on my phone trying to figure out what to go, what to do. Just heard back from the second shop where I bought the piece of shit to basically inform me and tell me that this car is basically just fucked and I'm not going to be able to get it back. Like... If I want it to be running, I would have to pay over 3000 to get this car back in running order. Over 3000 Does it look like I have $3,000 just laying around to put it into a friggin' lemon of a car? No, I don't. So, backstory. I got this car. This March will be three years that I've had it. Only three years. And I got it under 100,000 miles. It's a Saturn View Hybrid. Saturn View Hybrid. Don't ever get a Saturn, period. But don't ever get a Saturn View. And especially on top of that, don't get a hybrid. The car is junk. It's junk. Not even the first year in. Our first winter, I live in Maine, so we get nasty winters. Our first winter, it's literally, God, with the wind chill and everything, probably below zero when I got out of the gym and I get in my car and my car doesn't start doesn't even turn over, doesn't do anything. I call a tow truck and try to get it jumped. Doesn't do anything. The battery is shot. I had to have it brought to the shop and pay a couple hundred to have a new battery put in. Not even a year into owning this vehicle, okay? And then where I bought it, you had to buy it outright. They don't do in-house financing. They don't do payment plans. They don't do anything. You have to buy their cars outright. So I got screwed over. I got screwed over. I literally got screwed over with this vehicle. I don't even know what to say right now. I am so pissed off. I don't know what to do. I literally, oh, I have to work every single day. I have two jobs. I do hair and makeup. And I also clean a dealership because I haven't even just, I haven't gotten rid of the job because it's extra money. Why would I do that? That's stupid. Why would I throw away a job where I can get extra money? So dumb. So I have to continuously go to these jobs in a $50 a day Nissan Rogue 2020, which I could, I wish I could just keep because it's a sick vehicle. It's so nice, but no, I'm using the Juvia's Place Foundation if anyone cares. Um, in Cairo 600 great foundation. Um, so here we are trying to live our best lives while trying to keep my shit together. Like literally trying to keep my shit together. Like I don't even know what to do. I need to buy a vehicle. I mean, did I even tell you the, that I have my nieces living with me and I have to be able to traipse them around from school and work and everything else. 
three of my four nieces are living with me and I have had them for over a year. And when we first got them, DHS got involved. So blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to get into that. That's too much of a story. But when we first got them, our youngest who's here was only four weeks old. Okay. My youngest niece, four weeks old, moving in with me because my sister is fuck up. So there's that. So on top of everything that's been going on this week, like I still have to be able to take care of the girls and get them back and forth to school, get the oldest one who's 17 to work, um, get myself back and forth to work and all this other stuff. It's like, my God, I didn't know where else to go, but here to vent because I'm just, I'm baffled. I cannot believe that all of this is going on right now. And I don't know what to do about it. I'm stressed to the max. Ugh, like literally, like, does anyone else have so many different things happen all at the same time? Like literally one right after the other. And it's all in the same week, the same week. Like, are you kidding me? The same week. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm -mm. I apologize for the way I look. I apologize for the way I sound because I have been freaking crying and I'm trying not to because what the hell? But now I'm like in a rush because people keep blowing my phone up. I had to put that on silent so it wouldn't go through on this recording. Um, but I literally just found out from the second dealership that I had it towed off to that, yeah, it's basically shot. So now I have to like figure out how the hell I'm going to get another vehicle. And I have to do that quickly, like super quick, because I need to be able to get back and forth from work, both of my jobs and get my nieces around. Like what the hell? Oh, and then on top of that, I don't know if I even said this because at this point I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself, but who knows? I also found out, I'm sorry, I'm crying so my nose is running. Um, I also found out when I was trying to file for my taxes that, oh yeah, I did say that, that I made too much last year and I, oh, this year, I have to pay in. Like, I have to pay in. I've never in my life ever had to pay in. And now I have to pay in when everyone else at my job is getting at least a grand. At least. I literally don't know what to say right now. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I don't even know. I don't even know. I am so extremely stressed out right now. Um, and it's not, why is everything falling down on me right now? Literally. Great stuff. Literally falling down on me. It's, hello? Oh. It's literally just everything all at once. And it just started at the beginning of the week and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's like, why? Why is this happening to me? I have good karma. I've been a good person. I haven't fucked anyone over. I haven't done anyone dirty. I am going to work. I'm working two jobs. I'm going to take care of my nieces. I don't even have my own kids, but I'm taking care of my nieces. Like, why is this happening to me? I don't get it. I have done nothing to deserve this. We are going to use the Makeup Forever HD Ultra, um, the concealer, the creaseless one, self-setting, whatever you want to call it. I'm just literally extremely stressed out. I don't think it's fair. It's just like, why do good things happen? I mean, why do bad things have to happen to good people? Why? Like, why? I haven't done anything to deserve this. Nothing. I am doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I am working. I am being an active part of society. I am. I never call out. I never this. I never that. But oh, you know what? Let's just rain down on Jen and really just give her a go for her money. You know, 
I'm sitting here trying to build up my account. I am not trying to spend any money minus makeup because all these YouTubers have to keep dropping the bomb ass makeup. So of course I have to buy that. But you know what? I was doing really good in my account and it was not an issue spending money on makeup. Wasn't an issue doing this. Wasn't an issue doing that. Because my car was fine and there was nothing I had to deal with. Because I own that piece of shit. Yep, I own it. Own it outright. Because like I said before, where I got it, you had to buy it. You could not finance or anything else. So I'm literally just, I'm at my wit's end. I don't even know what to say, do. I don't know what my next step's going to be. My rental is due back tomorrow and I have to work in the afternoon. I have to get my nieces back and forth to school. Like, anyone else want to throw anything at me? Like, seriously, does anyone else want to throw anything my way? Because I just, huh, I don't know. I mean, a bridge is looking pretty good right about now. If I could even get that car started, I literally would slam it into something. I have full coverage. Oh, and that was another thing when my car broke down and I had to have it towed and then I had to set up for a rental car. The guy that I talked to at State Farm, I wish his name was Jake, but he wasn't. Owen? No. Clive? No. Neil? I don't know. Whatever. Who cares what his name was? That mother told me that my insurance covered rentals and said that it would be all good and I told him the car wasn't in a car accident it just broke down are you sure that it covers that are you sure that it covers that yeah it covers that you're good we cover up to 25 a day and then if there's anything after the 25 a day then you would be responsible great great so I called up Enterprise because they are one of the people that takes uh my insurance company and got everything set up. I got picked up. I was driven out there and I was getting ready to do my thing. Well, guess what? No. After I got there, they told me that there had to be a claim put in, which when I was told on the phone talking to them at Enterprise that I didn't have to do a claim, I could just go and do it and then they would just bill them. Oh no, no, there had to be a claim put in place. And then when I called um, my insurance company back, come to find out that my car has to be in a fucking car accident to be able to get rental. You know, it's like, what's the point of paying for all of this if I can't use it? The only thing I've been able to use, thank God, is that I can get my car towed up to a certain mileage for free. So my car went from one town to another, which ended up being over the limit. So I had to pay... Only $13, which isn't bad. I had to pay $13 to have it finished to be towed out there. Whatever, whatever. Get it out there for a second opinion. So that went out there. And then I find out today that the car literally is a piece of shit. Because my friend yesterday thought I was getting screwed over because I'm a female. And that's what people at shops like to do. They like to screw, lo screw over us females and try to tell us that there's something wrong with our car when there really isn't. So yeah, he just wanted to make sure I wasn't sorry. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill. And this is the Luminous Powder in Carrots. And honestly, it's not dark. I don't think it's that dark. So I just kind of throw this all over my face just using a wet mild brush. I know. I just probably should have started this when I started my eyes because that's what everyone always likes to watch is the eyes but I didn't so I apologize I mean all I want to do is get my goddamn YouTube channel set off maybe that would help me because I watch YouTube all the time and I absolutely would love to actually have viewers and on this and that on mine but it takes forever and everyone wants specific content and this that and the other and the lighting's gonna be perfect and it's gonna be this and it's gonna be that my lighting is not perfect I don't have a ring light. I don't have anything. I'm sitting on the floor in my bedroom trying to get my makeup on using the fan on the ceiling light. Like, that's all I have for lights. And you know what? My makeup still comes out great, but it sucks. So, 
this literally this video is literally gonna be me just venting because i need to get this all out i guess i could tell you what i used on my eyes um mascara is the kush i used um the maybelline brow precise because i ran out of precisely my eyebrow which i need to buy again and then I used this little guy, the elf. This is really good. I like, this is bomb. And then I actually, for eyeshadow, used Nudie Patootie. Um, and then for my eyelashes, I am using Batty B Saucy. Okay, now we're caught up. Back to my dilemma. We need to figure out, we, so if someone could please watch this video, out of the kindness of your heart, just watch my video and please send me a little comment in the bottom and tell me what I should do about my situation because my car, my car, people, my car, what to do about this car? <sighs> what time is it? It is 2.30. Oh my God, it's 2.37. I need to hurry up and get my face situated because I need to leave soon and I need to pick up my niece, and I gotta bring my other niece to work, and then I need to get to work by 3.30. Did I tell you I have to work at 3.30, and I can't pick up my niece until 3, and I can't bring my other niece until I pick up that niece, and blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, this is my life, guys. This literally is my life, in a nutshell. You know, it's so sad. Saturday night, great, so psyched. I'm so pumped. I'm out of work. I got everything done. I went to the gym. I did both of my job. Thank God I did both of my jobs Saturday night. Got everything situated. Great. Got home around 11 o'clock at night once everything was all said and done. And didn't have a care or worry in the world. Wake up on Sunday morning, try to go to work and be there by 11. My fucking car doesn't start literally are you kidding me are you kidding me are you kidding me why me i really have not done anything to deserve this i really haven't i haven't i have been a really good person like why am i getting screwed over here i don't get it i really don't if anyone has any suggestions as to why I'm getting screwed over, like, is, like, the planet's not aligning the correct way, where, <sighs> like, what is up? Because, man, I'm going to go into Nakey Nakey, and we're going to pop that on the bottom line. Really connect that. Yes, queen. I'm going to do that over here. And I'm just using a small, um, a flat Morphe brush from, God, I think it was two years ago, their Christmas collection thingy. It's just a little, it's the gold one. If you guys can see that, but it doesn't, it does not have a number. It's just, that's that. Anyways, so moving on, I'm going to use the Morphe M321 and I'm going to go into Butt Naked and just kind of buff this in and make it so it's not so straight. I mean, well, so it's like more... Wow, it'd be nice if I could talk. I do know the lingo, lingo, I promise, guys. I'm just smoothing everything out and just making sure that it works better. So, if you're hearing, like, a, mu a little bit of music, it actually is the baby monitor sitting next to me because my youngest niece is napping. <laughs> So, I mean, there's that. We're dealing with that, too. There she is, baby girl. Which I may be in the process uh, once we figure out if all the paperwork goes through and she... Their, their uh, parental rights do get terminated. 
I am planning on adopting her because she's been in my life and I've been in her since basically she, well, obviously since she's been born, but I'm literally all she knows. She doesn't really know her mother. Like she comes and visits and stuff, but there's like barely, there's no connection there. And her father, like he basically treats her like an object. He keeps swearing up and down that he's going to get her back and he's doing everything he's supposed to get her back, but... Uh, he had his first child taken away from him, so I'll be damned if he gets a hold of this one. I am not letting Kylie go with this guy who literally doesn't even know how to handle her and take care of her. Okay, so I'm going to go into Uncover in the palette. I'm just going to pop this right here, right here. I just want to finish up my eyes so I can get rid of that. And the reason why I still have powder on my upper lip is because it gets really sweaty. I'm going to put that right here too. And I really just need to set my lip. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'll take care of that after. We're really in a rush, people. Anyways, what what are we doing about my car? What are we doing about my car, people? Like, literally, what am I going to do? I don't know. Anyone, suggest suggestions, please. Anyone have any suggestions? Because I really need to know what I'm going to do. I am beyond stressed out. Beyond. And I, like, literally want to go jump off a bridge. I won't. Because I just won't. I'm going into the Morphe Icon. This stuff is really good. I like it a lot. And we're just going to bronze real quick with this. We're going to do it this way so I can see better because I'm kind of like facing. And this is just a wet and wild brush that I'm using. I got it not this past winter, but the winter before on Black Friday when it was half off for the kit. I don't care what anyone says. The wet and wild brushes are pretty damn good. I mean, I have, like, the Luxie brushes and stuff like that. Morphe, obviously, but I really like these for the bigger ones. So I'm going to do down here. Sorry. We're going to do down here. I, as you can see, I'm, like, literally rushing through this. If anyone wants, like, a proper video of getting my makeup put on or putting my makeup on then I can do that but I'm literally in a rush so we are done with that done with that and now I'm ow my foot now we are going to bronze and I'm gonna well contour excuse me we're gonna use the shade and light I'm really not trying to make this as something like that I'm at 23 minutes and I don't know how to edit I don't edit stuff, so we are <laughs> just going to do it the way we're doing it, okay? And I hope everyone is fine with that. Skip through if you need to and you don't want to watch it. I'm going to go into the first and the third, if you guys really care. Not like you do. Well, actually, I'm going in all three of them. And then we're going to put that right here. And then I'm going to put this here. And then we are going all around the temples in the four, five, six, seven head. So there's that. And then I'm going to, that was an It Cosmetics brush is what I use. I don't use it for foundation. I use it for that. And I'm actually using the Luxie 530 Flat Top Kabuki to smooth everything out. I just pat it in and really just work that product everywhere. I found that this really works well, so this is how I'm doing it. And then I'm just kind of like pouncing, pouncing. I'm just pouncing on this to smooth it out, make it so it doesn't have any harsh lines, and just really have a nice, basically airbrush look. Okay, so now that we're done with this, I'm um, going to grab, where are you, I'm going to grab the Morphe M433, and I actually use this brush to contour my nose with, because it's long and flat, 
It's a little more fluffy right now because I just washed it the other night. But So what I do is I literally draw a line down here and up. And then I draw another line. I found like this is the best way to contour. And I've been doing this for over a couple years now. It's funny because I see like YouTubers and creators, content creators doing this now. And it's like, bitch, I've been doing that for like years. I should have been making videos. Okay, so now we're going to take the big fluffy brush and yes, one on the big fluffy brush. This is another wet and wild and we're basically just going to pounce over that and that's going to smooth everything out. We're going to get rid of all that powder and then we're going to take the beauty blender. You need blender, be nice if I could talk. And I like to really push that powder in there. There's that. Nose looks great. Perfect. We are done with that. Moving on. Oh, actually, fuck. We're going to take whatever's left on there because I don't open that again. And I'm going to do that right underneath my lip and right here to really emphasize my lips because my lips are tiny. Next, what we are going to do is take the foundation off the lips because I don't like that. Uh -huh. Ooh, girl. Ooh, where'd the lips go? Okay. So there's that. And then I kind of just go over one more time, make sure everything is good. We're done with that. Moving on. So I don't need that. So next one I am going to use... Is it weird that I keep everything like in the containers? Like the boxes they came in? Does anyone else do that? I always do. Literally like everything, like everything stays in their containers. It's so weird. Like I literally, what? Like what? I don't take anything out of their sleeves or boxes. I just kind of leave them. Like even this is in its case. Anyways, who cares? So we're wasting time because I really got to go. We're going to go into blush now and I'm using Peaches by MAC. We're going to get that on the cheek dicks. The cheek dicks. Really just kind of pat that in. I know I'm turning and not being a proper person, so I'm sorry. But I like to really heavily put that on. Maybe a little on the nose, down here, yada yada. Because obviously, you all know, blush is the first thing to go. So we're going to load it on. And then I also top my blush. Yeah, I literally, like, you wait till I get to highlight girls and boys and everyone in between. Wait till I get to highlights. So I'm using the Illuminati or Luminoso or whatever the hell it is for the Milani blush as well and topping that because that's got more of a sheen to it and it's really pretty and for some reason I can't go without putting that on yeah luminoso and it's weird this little thing has like broken off okay so blush is on that's on perfect all we need is highlight and we are done I'm gonna use the morphe continuous spray put that on we're gonna let that dry down a little bit and then we are gonna go into the glazed palette yes glazed and I'm gonna go into the first two these two right here we're gonna slap that on we are really in a rush. So my rental is literally due back tomorrow. I need a car. I need a car, guys. Like, I need a car. I need a car. I have to be able to get around. I have to. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. 
but yes, I literally like, I load on the highlight guys. I like it to last and obviously in all the normal places that everyone puts it. So there's that. And then I'm going to do one more highlight and top that and we'll be done. I'll leave you guys alone. We're 30 minutes in. I can't edit, so it's going to be a 30 minute video. And I hope someone, anyone, will have the niceness, the sweetness to watch my video and maybe give me some ideas of what I can do because I need a car and I need to uh, be able to get around so there's that um the last highlight that I used was the Jaclyn Hill loose highlighter and balm it really is bomb and this highlight literally stays on all day I work at 9 30 in the morning until after five at night on Saturdays and I'm still beaming to the gods while I leave and while I'm heading over to the gym. Yes, I work out with my makeup. Please don't come at me. I mean, people get weird about that, but I can't help it. I'm going from my job to the gym to another job. Like, I have no in-between. Luckily, I'm blessed with pretty decent skin, so my skin doesn't break out. Like, I sleep on my makeup. Yes, I do everything you should not do, but my makeup does not break out. I'm using the fix and s the gold light one, the fix one. Prep and prime. So we're gonna put that on. And then what we're going to do is take the beauty blender, really pounce that in. Make sure everything is set, especially under the eyes. My eyes get so dry, guys. So dry. Does anyone have any suggestions or anything for that i have tried everything i didn't even tell you what i used under my eyes i'm such an asshole i used the becca the hydra one that's the only one that i've been able to use that actually works under my eyes and doesn't bleed or whatever i have to get to work holy crap i gotta get to work i need to go pick up my niece um so next i am just gonna put the telescopic i believe it is yeah on my bottom lashes oh my god I'm sorry that I'm being quiet I'm just trying to focus this is one thing I need to focus on or I'll have mascara all over my face and it'll be a shit show. Oh, there it is. There it is. Fuck my life. Not gonna lie, guys, this mascara is bomb. So good. If I could get it on my fucking eyes and stop making a mess. Wow. Oh, also, I have carpal tunnel. Just so, just to throw that out there, I had my testing that I've been waiting over a year to have done done today. Yep. They confirmed it on the first, the first little shock. It, she was like, yeah, I see it. I see it. And I'm like, give me the fucking surgery. Like, what is going on here? So on top of everything else, that's what I'm dealing with. I don't know if I'm going to wear Jaybird by Laura Lee or um, Nikki Nikki. I'll probably just slap this on because I gotta get the hell out of here. So I'm gonna use Jaybird. I'm not gonna line my lips. I'm just slapping this on. I wasn't even gonna wear lipstick, but it is what it is. I'm gonna tell you right now, her lipsticks are bomb. They're so good. And they last and they don't smudge. They don't transfer. It's just a good lipstick. So she did that. Oh, 
Okay, cool. So I got to go. Thank you for sitting me and let me rant and rave. And um, if you have any suggestions on how my life can suck less, please let me know. That's all I'm asking. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.